Welcome, my friends. You are here for the practice known as Yoga Nidra. Now, Yoga Nidra is a very, very ancient technique. Modern science and scientists have only begun to discover and unveil the benefits of Yoga Nidra on the brain, the body, and the spirit. Now, friends, I will be your guide through this Yoga Nidra practice. This is also known as non-sleep deep rest in the scientific literature, possibly for reasons of distancing themselves from mysticism and different unscientific sounding things like yoga nidra but I assure you my friends this is as scientific as it gets in fact multiple high reputable journal publications such as Cosmo and Yoga Journal and Chiropractic Weekly have commented on yoga nidra and multiple studies on rodents as well as petri dish studies have shown that just just 10 minutes of yoga nidra is all one needs to come into oneself and cleanse all of the bad vibes spirits and everything negative from their life as well as incorporate stronger, more potent, more reactive, sustainable life practices and views. Your brain changes with just 10 minutes of yoga nidra. In fact, you can replace your entire sleep routine with just one hour of yoga nidra a day thereby saving you seven hours to do anything you'd like in your life. Wouldn't you like that, friends? In addition, Yoga Nidra has been shown to also stimulate brain waves and frequencies such as Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, and other Greeks, the frequencies in your mind that correspond to learning and to memory retention, as well as high complex cognitive rearrangement, the neurons actually move themselves around and they find better positions which encode more memory so you can remember phone numbers that are 30 digits long, such as those from Indonesia. Now, we are going to begin our Yoga Nidra meditation. Find a comfortable position. You can sit down, you can lie down, but we are now going to commence. And all you have to do is shut your eyes, find a comfortable position, and listen to my voice. We are going to make use of our mental imagination. We will not be moving anything except in our mind. So, lay with me now. It will also help if you have certain essential oils that stimulate the spirit as well as the brain-body connection. Uh, research is pending, but the Tibetans and the monks and uh, yogis, they know that this works. This, you can also get the diffuser in case you don't enjoy just throwing, throwing this around the room. All right. Now, this is a very specific way of, of doing this. Right. It doesn't matter, friends, if you have a life that is very hectic tons of items everywhere. You can find calm and relaxation 
and cognitive benefits anywhere, if you just so desire. All right. Now that you're in your position, you're going to, we're going to imagine different parts of the body. But first, we need to prime our nervous system with scientifically rigorous backed breathing techniques. They are referred to as many things, but all you have to do, I will stop citing science right now. This is just a proven method, just trust me. We're going to breathe, okay? We're going to take three breaths and then you will listen for more cues. Now you may breathe normally. And when you breathe, your diaphragm goes down deep, deep into itself and starts pulsating, sending out different signals throughout the nerves, the fibers, your brain. And it says, hey, we need to relax. So that's what we're going to do. You probably already feel the alpha waves coming on to your brain. If you're getting goosebumps, you definitely feel those waves. We're going to now start focusing on different parts of our body, starting with the right side. Imagine your right foot. We're going to start with the toes. Think of the biggest toe that you have on your foot. We're going to go through all the toes. Some people have more toes than others. Just think of each toe one by one. You can give them names if you'd like. We're going to move through the toes. Slowly, gently, softly. Now we're going to think of the top of the right foot. Think of the veins running through it, the skin, the white blood cells, plasma, red blood cells, hemoglobin, different elements. We want our entire body all the way down to the last atom or subatomic particles to be in tune and vibrate with us. Think about the bottom of your right foot, the heel, work your way up. Think about your ankle. Think now graciously about the calf that allows you to stand up. We'll flip over really quick and think about the shin, the knee, your thigh. Think about your right butt cheek. Shift over to your butthole. Okay, back to your right butt cheek. Now up, we're going up, up, up the back. Stop just very briefly. Think about the lower back. You want to relax that. Okay, now we can ascend. Up, we're close to the scapula. There's a scapular retricular region. Think about that. Now, up and around the shoulder, we'll make a quick stop over, over the shoulder. Think about the bicep and tricep working together. Think about your elbow, moving it up and down. In your mind, don't move yourself. You wanna be completely still right now. And we will think about the forearm and the right hand and each finger, each phalange that protrudes from your fleshy, squishy hand and the fingernails and the grime under the fingernails. Now we will move on, climbing, climbing back but then traverse very quickly down. We will think of our left hand. Think of the fingers, right? Everything that was on the right side. All the way up, you know your anatomy. For those of you who only are one-armed, you can think about your nub. In your mind, you can wiggle it. You can traverse down. Think about your left nipple to the right nipple, we forgot about that one.
think about your pecs or your breasts if you are a woman. Think about your belly button, go down. The genital region, think about all of that. We'll head down a little bit further. But first we'll do a quick wrap around and think about the uh, left butt cheek. Okay, down the hamstring, under the knee, let's do the calf. Okay, now let's jump back up and do the quads real quick. Now think about the shin and down to your left foot and your left toes. All right, my friends, that visualization has probably added four hours of sleep related benefits to you. When your mind visualizes your brain and when your brain visualizes itself, it turns in on itself in an infinite loop of benefit. It's also thinking about your body. So it's thinking about itself, your body, as well as the spirit, and it's complete. Now, we're going to move on to the contents of our emotions. We are going to think about the sadness and happiness. Let's say you're at work. We're going to imagine ourselves in a scenario where someone comes up to us. They say something that is very obtuse. We disagree quite strongly, perhaps. And we just think about that person being hit by a bus. Do you feel the calming relief, relaxation, seeing the coworker, the obnoxious human who absolutely doesn't practice yoga nidra because they would not be obnoxious. See them getting hit by a giant bus, just splattering all over the road and then being run over by that same bus. That, that, if that doesn't calm your emotions, I don't know what does. Now we move on. We think about other things in the office, other people. Some people make us happy. Some people make us sad. Some make us horny. Some make us want to kill ourselves. But then we come back to our yoga nidra practice and we revive ourselves. Now, if you're hooked on drugs, you can also do this practice. It helps every addiction. It's been shown to cure everything. Basically, it's uh, a tonic. It helps everything. If you are struggling with anything, Yoga Nidra will fix it. It doesn't even matter what. It's been proven. They actually played a recording of my voice, specifically with Yoga Nidra commands, to a petri dish of bacteria as well as viri. And they found that even the Brownian motion ceased and they could measure pulsating delta waves from these little, little cell organisms and little pieces of DNA and RNA in the viruses. This is a very powerful technique, my friends. We're still waiting on research to see if it makes your penis larger, but that will be published in the next few months. So stay tuned and you should now start awakening slowly, slowly coming up. Open your eyes, roll out your hands. Okay. Breathe a sigh of relief. That has been the full practice. And it has probably raised your IQ some substantially into the next quartile range, most likely. But if you like yoga videos, then you definitely need to subscribe to World's Best Guys. We put out a new yoga video 
every five years or so. We also teach self-discipline this way, as well as patience. You don't subscribe to other people because they're putting out a new video every Thursday or Friday or Wednesday wonders or some other BS scheme. At World's Best Guys, we really care. We care about the health and the wellness, as well as science. But we care more about ourselves.